Let's just give it. I'm a Chicano artist and I'm doing seven questions. The Chicano art movement came about because of the political movement started by students and it was about equality, it was about the conditions that the Chicanos were living here in America. The political movement produced a lot of imagery and I think it was a great narrative for not only plastic arts, a lot of works were produced. What has remained after the political movement is that the arts have continued and now they're starting to be recognized. I uh, like collecting things that uh, I think relate to my work and a lot of these things that I collect deal with ancient Mexican art and African art. Dedication. I am dedicated to my profession, I'm dedicated to my family, and I think that is what has kept me grounded. And when I undertake any kind of work, I stay with it and continue on until it's completed. Food that my wife prepared for me, caldo de res, and the other one was fideo with uh, pork chops and a uh, red sauce that she would prepare for me. The beginning of Chicano art, of course, was considered to be protest art, and it was connected and related to the politics. But after that, what has happened with all of the arts is that it's now, they're dealing with an aesthetic and they're dealing with different uh, themes. And now it's going into installation, into minimalism. And so it has moved from narrative to style. Well, San Antonio is a small city with big ideas and it's one of the friendliest cities in America. And everybody's accepted here, and in a way, I think that we are creating a place here in San Antonio that is very comfortable for the world to come visit. I would say that um, to work hard, learn the history of this country, learn the history of Mexico, and to understand your position and what you can contribute. But work and dedication is the key to it. And the more educated you are, I think the better opportunities you will have in this country. Seven questions already? That's one more! I want <laughs>